Good morning, welcome to another weekly vlog in which I promise not to talk too much about the weather. Although, can I just say, one, it's raining, and two, I actually overheard three different conversations in three different places while I was out this morning about how bloody awful the weather is and when's it ever going to stop. <laughs> anyway, how was everybody's weekend? Ours was very nice. It was far less hectic than the previous weekend, which was a good thing. Um, we went out for dinner with friends on Saturday. And other than that, the builders were here all day Sunday till about seven, sorry, Saturday till about seven o'clock in the evening. Um, we're getting there slowly with the bathroom. It's still not done, but it's so, we've got a door back and a window. So yay for that. So that is progress, isn't it? I'm just sorting out my um, shopping that I picked up this morning from Tesco's. I felt very organized yesterday. I did a whole menu plan for the week. Breakfast, lunch, and breakfast, lunches and dinners and um, I did an online shop and I did click and collect and picked it up this morning and this morning I just seem to be deluged with stuff to do. I feel very disorganised and very, um, yeah, very busy. It's already quarter past 11. Anyway, let's start the week with a little home bargains haul. It's not very interesting but I thought I'd share it with you anyway because I've been there this morning. Okay, this is Blistex Intensive Moisturiser Lip Balm. I was talking about lip balm last week and somebody mentioned this in the comments and recommended it and told me I could get it in Home Bargains. So I got it and I will let you know how I get on with that one. I think I've used Blistex before and thought it was quite good, um, but I can't remember. I've also bought some washing machine cleaner because I've decided I need to clean my dishwasher, my washing machine and my tumble dryer all need cleaning. A bit of a spring clean thing going on a box of tissues because always need more tissues and I've been hinged sorry I've got a really itchy nose this morning for some does that mean someone's thinking about you when your nose is itching I think it does um Mrs Hinge's Febreze this is for my bedding squeezing squeezing squirting on my bedding in the morning because I've got my body shop um cherry limited edition one cherries and berries which i think it was cherries and berries which was lovely but i'm coming to the end of that this just looked so nice they've got it's orange blossom and coastal cypress vacay vibes it's called and my god we need some vacay vibes around here don't we let me just um, give it a little squirt and oh very nice lovely takes me right to the tropics it does <laughs> cotton wool because always need cotton wool 59p that is for 80 cotton wool pads so not bad um two packs of ibuprofen because my bad leg is still my bad leg um dishwasher cleaner um for the dishwasher obviously as i've just talked about some lemon fragrance pedal bin liners um 15 litre size ones those are and you get 40 and uh, they were I think it was about a quid for those um a new scrubbing brush S sorry itchy nose again and also a new nail brush because both of mine are looking a bit tired and needed replacing so again really cheap I think this was a quid and this was about 40p I think um toothpaste because everybody needs toothpaste and finally, some McVitie's Gold Bars. I haven't had these for years. I just happened to see them. And I was on my way to pick up the Skinny Whip Bars. And these are, bearing a Skinny Whip Bar, I think is 80 calories. These are 95 calories per biscuit. And I felt a bit of nostalgia over these. So I got these instead of the Skinny Whip ones. And that is my home bargains haul. It's almost lunchtime and had quite a successful morning. I've got quite a big list today and I've got quite a lot of stuff done. Just putting some hand cream on. My hands are so dry at the moment. Um, I don't know why, I really, I don't wear rubber gloves all the time when my hands are in water. And that is probably a lot of the problem. But um, yeah, they're feeling very, very dry, my cuticles and just generally. So I'm trying to remember to put hand cream on it regularly. Anyway, um, plans for this week. I've actually got a quiet week until Friday. We're going up to Bournemouth. We have a meeting with my mum's financial advisors to go through some stuff with that with my brother and Amanda, Ashley and myself and mum. 
and um, then we're going out. We're staying the night in Bournemouth with Mum and um, we are going out to Rick Stein's restaurant in Sandbanks, which we've been to before and is absolutely lovely. It's actually a birthday present for Ashley from my mum from not last year, the year before. What with everything that went on last year, um, we didn't actually get a chance to use it last year for various reasons. We did actually have a booking at one point to go and I had to cancel it because of my gallbladder issues. I think it was I was in hospital or just come out, I can't remember exactly, but we couldn't go anyway. So fingers crossed this time we will get to go on Friday night. Right, I have got some bits to show you. Let's start with this now if you're not a makeup fan you'd be going caroline what you want about but this beautiful looking thing is by the brand tarte and can we just take a minute to uh, how gorgeous is that and it's not so much the insides of it although look it opens up like this and that's what it looks like inside it's just glorious now this came out in 2017 and it was part of Tarte's Christmas range I don't know if they ever sold it in this country I think possibly only in the States and it was expensive at the time and I didn't need it and I didn't buy it but it's been on my wish list ever since and there's a website that I buy secondhand makeup from it's based in America it's called Glambot um, I'll pop a link in the description box in case you're interested and you can set up a wish list on there for products and I, can't, I think this might have been in the region of about $60 when it was first came out and I've been waiting literally years since 2017 for this to pop up in uh, on Glambot and it did and I got this for nine dollars nine dollars it was an absolute bargain so um yeah I've bought many things off Glambot during over the years they're, they're not the best customer service and they are not the speediest at dispatching but everything I've bought from them has been lovely and considering it's used this barely looked as though it had been used when I got this um I've fiddled about with it and played with it about wearing it today actually but um the only one that looked that this white shadow down here had a little bit of use the rest of them as you can see mostly are completely unused in fact the only use from them other than this one down here is from me so um yes i was very pleased to finally get my hands on something that i've been coveting since 2017. so one of the jobs on my um to-do list for this week is to declutter and reorganize my jewelry um I feel like I don't make the, the way it's stored at the moment I don't make good use of it because it's stored a lot of my necklaces are stored um, in a cupboard in a jewelry tray in a cupboard and I just don't don't use them so I'm gonna have a rearrangement of um, how I store my jewelry I think so I need to think about that at some point this week but I have some new jewelry bits to show you from Anna Louisa now I worked with Anna Louisa for a whole year about three years ago I'm wanting to say and did various um, videos for them throughout the year and they came back to me and said would I like to do just a one-off with them and I had a look at their website and they've got some beautiful new bits of jewellery in so I said yes I very much would and I've got a few bits to show you here um, and Louisa if you don't know them already if you haven't been with me since I was working with them before they are a sustainable jewellery company they have a really nice small curated selection on their website of nice quality reasonably priced jewellery um, I've never had anything from them tarnish or change colour or it just really lasts well they also have really good sustainability credentials if you are interested in such things you can read um, an impact report in their about us section on the website um, which sort of sets out their sustainability framework and they are doing good things as far as jewellery is concerned with in terms of sustainability right let me show you Oh my goodness me, I've just dropped the back of that off, that wasn't good. Now the first pair of earrings I have to show you are these, hang on that's got caught up. I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous little gold huggy hoops with pearls on the bottom and you can get the pearls in, I've gone for this grey, I don't know how well you can see the colour there, hopefully that's coming through, I've gone for this sort of silvery grey colour because I thought it was so unusual, thought these would be really nice for just during the day because they're quite small and delicate 
um, not too in your face, but just got a little bit of interest on them with the pearls. So thrilled with those. And then next I chose this little bracelet with the sort of joined up ovals in the middle. Isn't that pretty with a very delicate chain? I think that's just absolutely lovely. So delicate and pretty. And I think the texture on one of the hoops on the inside is quite interesting as well. This next one I'm going to pop on to show you because it's really, really lovely. Look at this loveliness. Let me just see if I can do it up. I love that. It's so gorgeous. Let me stand up and show you a little bit closer. It's like almost like a coffee bean type shape. But again, a really delicate chain and then this sort of statementy gold I'm going to call it a coffee bean, I don't think it is, but um, I just really like it. The chains you can also clasp at three different lengths, so you can, I think I've got it on the middle one, you can have it a little bit shorter or a little bit longer if you're layering it with other necklaces, so that's good, quite a lot of flexibility in that. And then finally, another pair of earrings, I love these ones, I just love the shapes, I felt like these would go really nicely with this necklace because the shape of the coffee bean is sort of almost reflected in those sort of semi-oval shapes in the um, drops of the earrings. I thought they were just lovely. So they all come in these little cotton pouches that do up with little magnetised poppers um, like that. So not too much packaging. Then they, they came inside this sustainable cardboard box as well. So um, yeah, not loads of packaging boxes and bags and all that sort of thing. But they've always got good offers on, on their website. So I'll pop all the info down in the description box if you are interested in going to look. I don't know where the day's gone. I say that frequently, don't I? I've just opened two, two new dresses from Roman that I ordered. I had a text message from them last night saying they were doing 20% off all dresses and I'd already had my eye on one that I'd seen that came up in Instagram um, adverts and I've ordered that and another one. Can't be bothered to try them on right now. I'll probably do that tomorrow um, and I'll show you as well. Um, I'm just watching a bit of... Um, What's it called? What not? Have we talked about what not last night? I showed you some of my buys that I'd um, purchased from there. Um, I'm watching one of my favourite sellers. I actually know her. I've met her in real life, Yola. Um, she's a lovely Northern Irish lady. I've just turned the sound down at the moment so I can talk to you. This is her username, Souls and Hangers. I said that I would um, tell you some of the um, my favourite sellers, and I think I forgot to put it in the description box. I know quite a lot of you signed up to what not last week. Yeah, Souls and Hangers, if you want to follow somebody who does really nice. She sometimes does plus size um, specialist auctions on here. And sometimes she does just a bit of everything. She does some really nice shoes as well. Um, so I always enjoy watching her. I've got her on in the background while I'm having a little tidy up in the bedroom. Now, I didn't get around to showing you my jewellery, did I? I must do that. So, in fact, we'll do that now, shall we? I think the main... Oh, dark, dark, dark. I think the main problem with my jewellery is I've got it in all sorts of different places and I need to just be a little bit more organised with it. So we're in my dressing room and first of all, let's look at this one. I absolutely love this method of storing earrings. And these are the earrings that I use the most because they're on here and easy to access. Uh, this just came from Amazon. I'll pop a link in if I can find it. I've had it quite a long time. It's just screwed on with um, a space behind it. It screws onto the inside of the wardrobe door. So that is, I'm sure there's some there I can get rid of that I haven't worn for ages, but that, as I say, these are the ones that I come to the most because they're easy to get at. Then on the other side of this wardrobe door, I've got a few more earrings hanging on this one and some more down here on this one. I'm thinking that I can amalgamate the earrings on just one of those and then put some gold chains, gold necklaces onto um, the other, probably the bottom one because they, they've got more space to hang down. I've got chunky necklaces up on this hanger in here. I honestly can't tell you the last time I wore any of those and I don't know if that's because I don't think about them or I just, um, I'm not so much of a chunky necklace girl anymore. Um, so they definitely need going through. Right then, let's go back into my bedroom and then just in the corner here, I've shown you this before. Um, 
This Ashley bought me years ago. It was made from a local tree that was very famous and is absolutely lovely. And I don't use it quite as much anymore, but I do have some bits of jewellery in here. It's mostly boxes actually, but I do have a few bits and bobs. But again, I need to go through that and just see what I've got. Um, I tend not to head for there when I'm looking for jewellery. And then over here at my dressing table sort of area, I have this little pot which I got from Timo, which has various bits that I um, just chuck in there as I take them off just to, to keep them tidy. And then they never really make their way back to where they're supposed to be kept. So again, that's just another lot of them. Then finally, we've got these three stacking trays. We've got this one for Nexus. These are really good. I haven't had these for ages. Um, and I really like the way they work in terms of storage. They keep the Nexus all really nicely apart. And they've got hooks up here so they don't tangle. And they feel really nice. And I've got bracelets in that one. And then some bangles and um, earrings in this one down at the bottom. But... Because it's hidden away, it's too big to have out on the side, this. And because it's hidden away in a cupboard, I feel like I don't use it as much as I should do. Um, I'll pop a link in for everything that I can find that I've shown you. But yeah, I feel like it's all a bit bitchy. I'm wondering if I need something that's actually out on my dressing table, um, where I put jewellery for the week type of thing. Um, you know, and then change that on a weekly basis so I get the use out of my jewellery. Because I find with it being hidden away... I just don't use it as much as I could. So I'm sort of pondering that thought at the moment, but I do need to actually declutter. I need to declutter that first earring thing, because I'm sure there's a few pairs I need to get rid of. And also um, the chunky necklaces need to be looked at. So that's a job for tomorrow, I think. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Don't say anything, but the sun's shining, look. It has rained this morning already though, just so we don't get overexcited. This morning's breakfast is a carrot cake smoothie bowl, which is a Thermomix recipe. Um, it has carrots, bananas, oranges, dates. It's topped with cinnamon and desiccated coconut and some dates. Um, it's got nuts in there and some carrot juice. I've got the carrot juice with turmeric in. And I think it's going to be really nice. I've, it's the first time I've made it, so uh, it makes two portions. So I've got one in the fridge for tomorrow. But it looks pretty good. That breakfast was surprisingly nice. I thought it was going to be one of those things that I made thinking it looked nice and then it didn't taste that great. But in actual fact, it was really nice and pretty healthy as well, I think. Tuesday's plans are go and drop some stuff off at the post office, come home, do some work, cook some dinner. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, I've got to sort the jewellery out, which we were talking about yesterday. I'm going to do that at some point. I've got a great long list of stuff, actually. Um, I'm just about to take my slippers down to the dustbin. Um, do, I, do you find, or is it just me? I hope it's not just me, because I'll feel a bit embarrassed if that's the case. <laughs> if you have fur-lined slippers or fleece or cosy slippers, after one season, they get, one winter, they get a little bit on the smelly side. Oh, sorry, my robot hoover's <laughs> trying to run over my foot. Um, yeah, they, 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 they get a little bit funky inside and not so nice. So my fur-lined slippers always only ask, last me one season, which is a shame. However, I wanted to mention these because I don't know if I've shown you these before, have I? Might have done. Um, they're only cheap. Um, they're from Shein, but oh my goodness me, they have been the best slippers ever. So much so that I've just gone onto the Shein app to see if they've still got them, and they have, and they're reduced even further. They're now down to £8.80. I'm going to buy a pair for next winter. This is not the sort of slippers I wear during the summer. Although it feels like this winter hasn't finished yet, I'm getting to the stage now that um, I don't want furry slippers on my feet. It's definitely warmed up a little bit, even if the weather hasn't actually improved. So, um, yeah, these ones are going in the bin, and I'm going to order myself a brand new pair for £8.80. Uh, they, I love these because they've got a nice, thick, sturdy sole. They're super, super lightweight, so they're not heavy on my feet, which is lovely. Really nice and lightweight. They're cosy. They're easy to put on. They've got a little bit of a lip at the back, so my feet don't come out of them. That, that, they, that much is an actual back there rather than just being a slip on but they're easy to slip on and off they've got a little bit of a back they've got this nice rubbery sole in case i need to go outside and empty the bins or anything um 
and they're just super comfy and cozy but yeah after one season they do get a little bit funky so i'm going to order myself a brand new pair i'll pop a link in the description in case anybody's interested because i do highly recommend these and i think for the price they're absolutely blooming brilliant but these ones are going to the slipper bin in the sky let's call it honestly the unmitigated joy of coming out of my house and it not be raining very windy and it's getting quite cloudy but it's not raining so yay for that I wanted to ask you about or talk to you about I've talked before on here about how after the pandemic I pretty much gave up watching the news or consuming news generally um, um, as Ashley, my husband, is a bit of a news junkie and watches a lot of news. I actively avoid news now because I find it scaremongering and depressing and just generally quite sensationalist, particularly television news. And I have slowly, slowly stopped even barely looking at... I used to... Have, I've got the BBC News app on my phone and um, I would just literally click onto it, scan through the headlines and click off. And I, barely even do that anymore and we were out for dinner with friends on um saturday night and they they were discussing or we were discussing various sort of current affairs type things and i found myself feeling for the first time ever a bit ill-informed and i thought i really ought to perhaps keep up a little better with what's going on in the world um it's not like me not to have an opinion about something but without knowledge. I mean, I vaguely know because, you know, I'll overhear the television when Ashley's got it on or occasionally, you know, bits and pieces here and there. I'll be listening to the radio in the car and a news bulletin will come on. Um, so I'm not completely ignorant, but I do feel like I've become increasingly disengaged from the goings on in the world. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I feel like I'd like to be slightly better informed. And I don't quite know how to remedy this. And I was, I was wondering if there was like a, a podcast that's five minutes a day with a roundup of factual news rather than opinion and discussion and, um, you know, editorial type content. Uh, does anybody know anything like that? How do you consume the news? Do you, do you or do you not bother or do you just live in ignorant bliss like I'm doing at the moment? Or I, I don't know. I feel like I would like to be slightly better informed and I would like to... Yeah, I wonder if a podcast is the way to go. If you know anything, please do let me know because um, it's something that I've been thinking about for the first last couple of days and haven't really got any answers. I'm quite pleased with myself. This is my first attempt at making focaccia um, and it's come out quite well. It was a Thermomix recipe, but um, yeah, very happy with that. It smells absolutely amazing as well. It is just coming up to quarter to six. I know, where has the day gone? I, I say that every day, don't I? But I have had a really good productive day today. I've got lots done. So that's good. It makes such a difference when the sun shines. I mean, it's not been warm because it's been very windy, but it's been, um, and I'm talking about the weather, aren't I, after saying I wouldn't. But it's been the sun has shone most of the day. So that's just been really nice. Just a little bit of vitamin D coming through the window makes a big difference. I have made progress today with my jewellery decluttering. Only a little bit. I've been doing mostly desk work today and cooking. Um... I've just shown you my focaccia, which I'm very pleased with. We're having that with some Mexican chicken soup, which is more of a stew, really. It's like leftover, leftover roast chicken from Sunday um, in a spicy Mexican chili beanie sort of soupy stew thing. <laughs> Classic one pot leftovers cooking, my favourite kind. I won't bother showing you what I've done with my jewellery so far because... Um, it's not enough to actually show you anything really in terms of what I've achieved, but I've made a start, so that's good. Um, I have got a little pile of stuff to get rid of here. These ones here, which I'm getting rid of, so that's good. Right, I want to try on my two Roman dresses to show you. I think one's gonna be a hit and one's gonna be a miss, having looked at them. Um, Yes, I'll do that now. Okay, I've switched over to my phone. You're at a weird angle, but I wanted to be able to get the whole thing in. 
I really like this. Now I wear quite a lot of smock dresses in the summer, just loose fit tunicky dresses. And I was looking at my summer tunic dresses and thinking that um, a lot of them are sort of just on the knee and I'm feeling, I don't know, that perhaps they're, the, the vibe of them is a little bit younger than I want at 55, maybe. Um, not there's anything wrong with wearing things above your knee when you're 55, just, you know, you do you type of thing. Um, but this one, hang on, it's because I've got you at a weird angle because I'm trying to, my tripod's playing up. That's actually straight on. Um, so it's definitely below the knee, sort of midi length, but I really like this. It's a really lightweight, cottony, um, sort of fairly gauzy dress. You can see through it a little bit. I've got a camisole. I would definitely wear a camisole underneath it. But I love the print, the pink and white, and it's got a bit of silver through it, which is very May. I'm thinking pair it with flat silver sandals for an evening on holiday in the summer. Um, I like the sleeve. It's a three-quarter sleeve, but it's got this sort of trumpety bit. It's sort of fairly fitted along the top bit and then the trumpety bit. And I bought this in a 20. Um, really pleased with it. I like it a lot. It feels very nice and perfect for summer, assuming that summer will at some point arrive. I can't remember prices, so I'll pop links in the description box below. Um, and now I'm going to try on the other one, which I think probably isn't going to be so good, having looked at it in real life. Now this one, I didn't realise was going to be so long. It's definitely, I haven't got shoes on, but it's definitely full length. It was the print that got me with this really. Isn't the print just absolutely gorgeous? I love the colours and I love the print. Um, I don't you're normally like a sleeveless dress and I have to say, not loving my foot. had visions of maybe putting a bolero or a little cardigan over it um, in one of the colours, picking out one of the colours from the print, but it's too long for me. I would want it to be midi length. Um, it's got the V at the back as well. I've got a feeling that when I saw this on the website, I um, did, the woman was sitting down in it, the model was sitting down, and I didn't realise it was so long. Um, I don't like the sleevelessness, if, I, if I'm honest, and um, it's just there's a, there's a lot of material for someone of my height. Um, so yeah, if it had been midi or just below the knee, I think I might, I might have been able to make it work, but it's just too long. It is fully lined for anyone interested. Again, I got this in a 20, it's very, um, well sized I would say there's no gaping or anything it sits nicely on a bust it's got a bit of elastication on the waist there um, but yeah this one's going to go back and I'm going to keep the other one good morning it's Wednesday you may or may not be able to hear my windscreen wipers working <sighs> let's just leave that there shall we anyway Yes, it's Wednesday. I've woken up in a bit of a bad mood this morning. I don't really know why either. I just feel really quite grumpy. Um, I've had a couple of minor irritations with various work things, but that's not enough to make me super grumpy, so I don't know what's going on really. Anyway, I am just off to the cardboard bank. Oh, the glamour, I hear you say. Yes, I know. Um, I was going to go out and have a little mooch round um, Sainsbury's today and have at the big Sainsbury's and have a look at the clothes, but do you know what? I'm really not in the mood for it. I just want to be at home, warm and cosy. And good news, we do have builders today. Um, we've got two builders and an electrician. Um, so that's good. They're finishing off the final bits of tiling around the... Um, door reveals and the window reveals and um, the electrician is doing some more second fix which is good um, so we are getting there slowly the main thing holding proceedings up now is my pink um, heated towel rails and mirror frames they are still in the process of being um, powder excuse me powder coated um, so yeah waiting for those and then once they're done um, it should be all systems go and sort of a final bits and pieces that yeah oh god I wish this rain would go away so fed up with it you're at an angle and honestly I haven't got it in me to spend ages fiddling with the tripod <laughs> it's got worse there we are that's true no you're, you're you're falling again aren't you I'll tell you what let's, let's get a bit of sellotape 
and sellotape the damn thing. I don't expect that will work either, but we'll give it a go. It'll probably gradually ease itself off there. <laughs> More than one way to skin a cat, as they say. I am going through the comments on last week's vlog. This week's vlog for me, but last week's vlog for you. And um, just, it, it published this morning, so I'm just reading through all the comments. I will pull the winner for the glossy box in next week's video. So somebody has said, um, Maureen Normston says, I'm in Somerset and my God, the weather has been grim. It just saps the life out of you. That is such a perfect description, Maureen. That's what I feel like. I feel like every day I wake up and I look out and it's like this. I just feel like it's sapping the life out of me, just draining everything out of me, every bit of get up and go and motivation. So oh, yeah, perfect, perfect example that, or perfect description. Um, lots of you talking about my leg and saying I need to go and see somebody medical about it or the doctor about it. Um, it is on the mend, it's, it's not broken or anything and um, it, it's, it's on the mend, it's just something pulled or twisted or something like that. But um, <laughs> it's all very well saying see a doctor, isn't it? I don't know why I keep taking my glasses off. I can't see a bloody thing when I take them off. It's all very well saying seeing a doctor. I've got a funny medical story to tell you. I had a phone call from my doctor's surgery, I'm going to say about a month ago, and um, they said to me, oh, the doctor wants to, you need to make an appointment to, I'm phoning you to make an appointment to, um, with the doctor um, for a re review of your HRT. Um, I don't know why they need to review it, but so I said, okay, that's fine. Um, well, sorry, I've got <laughs> things going on here. Uh, yeah, you need to make an appointment for a review of your HRT with the doctor. I expect they want to stop me taking HRT. <laughs> Let's see them try. But uh, I said, oh, okay, so I can give you a telephone appointment in whatever it was I can't remember and I said I really don't like telephone appointments if they want to see me can I actually come and see them um she said oh yes that's fine now bear in mind this was about a month ago um so we're mid-April now not not quite mid-April it's the 10th of April today so this was probably like but let's call it mid-March let's be generous and call it mid-March she said oh yes I've got an appointment with the doctor and a face-to-face -face appointment you can have it on the 11th of May I went okay that's fine the 11th of May. This was mid-March. The 11th of May. Yes, I know, I know. So yeah, seeing a doctor, unless you want to pay, um, <laughs> is not really a practical suggestion, unfortunately, I'm afraid, uh, much as I would like it to be. Um, so if, if my leg's still bad on the 11th of May, I'll certainly be mentioning it at my HRT appointment with the doctor. But um, yes, that's um, yeah, that's where we are with the NHS. And uh, obviously, as you know, I paid privately to have my gallbladder removed last year. But um, I, I am not. I don't have endless funds. I can't um, pay, keep keep paying privately for, for everything. So you know, it is what it is, isn't it? But um, yeah, rest assured that at my appointment on the 11th of May, I will certainly mention my leg if it's not any better. But Fingers crossed, it does seem to be improving, so I'm gonna take that as a win anyway. Good morning, it's Thursday. I was in such a bad mood all day yesterday. I should have washed my hair really this morning, it's looking very frizzy. But um, as we're going out to Bournemouth tomorrow, I thought I'd wash it tomorrow morning, so it's all nice and fresh for tomorrow. Um, the sun is shining today. It's not shining in a positively, it's going to be like it all day way, but it's not raining and we'll take that. It rained all day yesterday, wasn't good. Put me in a bad mood. Um, actually, I was in a bad mood anyway, but the rain didn't help. Today, work, house stuff, much the same as it's been all week, really. Haven't done, you know, I don't think I've left the house apart from to do parcels this week, but I will be doing tomorrow, so... At least I'm becoming a bit of a hermit. Do you ever feel like, because I do, I feel like, oh, I ought to leave the house, what shall I go and do? When I've actually really got no desire particularly to leave the house, but I'm perfectly happy doing things at home, you know, I'm not feeling any urgent desire to get out of the house, but I feel like I should. Does anybody else have that? Is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> 
it is a lot later i'm just in the exact same position oh actually i'm not am i because i was over there this morning so I don't know what i'm talking about literally don't know what i'm talking about it's one o'clock i have just i'll put a picture in here of my tulips i've just rejigged them for the last time i think over last year i talked to you guys about um tulips and how to keep them going for longer and and you came up with all sorts of different ideas and the best way that i've found for keeping tulips going is somebody told me they continue to grow after you put them in water which appears to be true um i always put a two pence piece in the water which stops them from drooping really well i've found and i also cut about an inch off them maybe half an inch before I put them into water and then every two days I take them out, I change the water and I cut another almost an inch off them because they grow so much in the water and that keeps them going for about a week without dropping their petals and um, sometimes even a little bit longer than but yeah that is my top tip for um for tulips or my top tips for tulips this week's time this week weeks this month's time of your life box which is the skincare um, mostly skincare box aimed at women over 40 I think it is um, and we like anything aimed specifically at people of our age don't we um, so I thought I'd just show you what is in this month's box it comes with a little leaflet as usual and it uh, says the contents are worth £138.99 it's a monthly subscription box I do get sent it um, to show you as PR and um, I do have a discount code if you are interested in subscribing on a monthly basis um, I'll pop it the info down in the description box um, we have four different items this month I think that's it is it yes and the first one is this Emma Hardy oh I love Emma Hardy cleansing balm best cleansing balm ever this is the Midas Touch revitalizing eye serum this feels like it's a small thing in a big box perhaps not perhaps I could be doing it an injustice 15 mil is the size it's full size and the recommended retail price for this is 55 pounds I know that Emma Hardy products are expensive so um, I don't actually use a separate eye cream personally but perhaps this will persuade me to use it or perhaps I will pass it on to somebody I think next we have this temple spa this um I know this brand and I don't know why I know it. I don't have I tried anything from them before. I feel like I might have tried a moisturizer that was really nice from them. This is the Skin Glowing Serum and it says oh it's a clear and clearing and brightening one it's got vitamin c in it i love a vitamin c serum in the mornings and in fact i've just started using a really disappointing one by simple um i won't be buying that again it's meant to be um 10 percent vitamin c and it's it's like a cream it, it, it's very disappointing indeed this looks super nice i'm excited about their skin glowing serum um it's rrp is 50 pounds on that one so I'll let you know how I get on with that one anyway, but definitely don't recommend the simple one. Um, the next one is a Pixie by Petra Correction Concentrate. RRP on this one is 14. This is a colour correcting concealer. Try saying that after you've had a couple of gins. Um, it's, an, it's one of those annoying boxes where it's got a flap in which stops the product coming out. That's what it looks like. I think, doesn't the... Um, which get rid of red um, colouring. Um, let me have a look. Use it as a full cover camouflage cream under and around the eye area and anywhere you see darkness. That's interesting, isn't it? I used that um, Maybelline product for that and um, that's quite interesting. It's quite it's darker than I would uh, expect a uh, um, sort of colour correcting thing to be but I will try it and see how I get on with it it says the peach new colour blends magically into any skin tone for a brightening effect wow that sounds good to me then finally we've got a teeth whitening pen um RRP 20 pounds by my sweet smile perfect for crooked teeth why is it perfect for crooked teeth how weird um to make them look does it make them look straighter if they're whiter Perhaps it does. I am back looking at jewellery again and I'm deciding what well, I'm going through my statement -y necklaces and deciding what to keep and get rid of. And I blimmin' love this. I've had it for years, can't remember where it came from, but I really like it. 
but I hardly ever wear it. I used to wear it when I wore a lot of black and um, I would wear it as a necklace with a plain black top. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Should I keep it or should I not keep it? What do you think? Let me know. These two are definitely going. I feel like that one just looks really dated. It's sort of very 80s, isn't it? I haven't had it since the 80s, but it's, um, yeah, don't, and I don't wear it. And this one also, the metal has discoloured a bit. I loved that for a while. It's a nice holiday necklace, but haven't worn it for ages, so they're going. This smells amazing. This, um, let me dig it out and show you, because it really does smell nice. The whole room smells delicious. It's this, Air Pure Fig and Papaya Wax Melts. They're really handy, actually. They come in like little cubes. I've just got, there's only two cubes in that one of the eight in the packet, and it smells really strong. Um, I think it must have come from Home Bargains or somewhere like that. Right, I feel like I'm getting there with the jewellery thing. The discard pile has grown. Go me, look at that decluttering. And I've rearranged the three-tier thing. Got earrings and bracelets in here. Some earrings, not all of them. Um, Chain-type bracelets in this one. And then that one is now empty, the necklace one, because that just wasn't working for me. Even in terms of looking to see what I had, that was not working. So I've also ordered from Amazon, which I will show you when it arrives, um, a jewellery stand. And I'm feeling like that will be my daily go-to jewellery stand and I'll rotate it every week like I do with my makeup. In here is my, um, this bit here, is my makeup that I'm using currently and then I switch that out, not on a weekly basis, but um, fairly regularly for other makeup because I have a lot, as you know. Um, what I've done with the ones over here is... I've switched more earrings into this one. All the hanging earrings are now on there, which is good. And then that one there is still sort of the statement necklaces, the ones that I'm keeping. See, that one's gone back in, but I'm still in two minds. If you all tell me it's hideous and I should get rid of it, I will do. <laughs> and then this one I have switched for chains, which I, th I feel like they display so much better on there. I can see what I've actually got. I've still got a few pairs of hanging earrings there. But yeah, I feel like that's so much better and they're right there when I open the cupboard doors rather than hidden away um, somewhere else. So hopefully this is going to work better. Good morning, it's Friday. Ashley is driving. We are off to Bournemouth. It's about 11 o'clock, I think. Um, we were just discussing how it's, it's not raining today and the sun is sort of shining it's quite overcast but the sun's sort of i don't know it's like god it's a lovely day isn't it and it, it, it's not really a lovely day but it is not raining so um, yeah that sort of makes it feel like it's a lovely day because the weather's been so awful it's like i guess if you don't eat anything and then you, if you eat something very average you go that was a lovely meal maybe if you're really hungry same sort of thing maybe maybe Anyway, we are off to Bournemouth. We've got a meeting this afternoon with my mum's financial advisors, and then we are off out for a nice dinner tonight. I think I told you this earlier in the week to Rick Steins for Ashley's very belated birthday present. This is not this birthday, birthday. God, it's the one before. <laughs> so it's your 57th birthday. I don't want to do you with service. How old are you? I don't I can't remember. 21. <laughs> you must know how old you are. Sixty-four. You're sixty-four. I'm not sixty-four. No, no, that's no, the year you were born. So. <laughs> no, that's the year you were born. No, no um, I might be sixty this year. Oh my God, you're going to be sixty this year. Yeah. See, the good thing about the changes in retirement pension ages yeah. is that you know. 30 years ago, I'd probably have been a pensioner this year. Now I've got, now I've got another 25 years to wait. I'll be dead before I'm a pensioner. Every cloud. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been a busy and complicated day in terms of um, lots of financial information very quickly. But um, here we are. It's just coming up to seven o'clock. We've just got ready to go out. I am wearing this new look dress, which is a little tight around my tummy, but 
other than that, I feel like it's really nice. It's a short sleeve one. Yeah. There's two dozen beers, seven bottles of wine, a load of tonics, and a sausage. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, sorry, I completely thrown myself. Um, yes, uh, new look dress. First time I've worn it. Um, very pleased with it, how it looks. Uh, Marks and Spencer little kitten heel black shoes from a charity shop. And my trusty yours clothing sort of wrap cardigan type affair. Can't remember where my necklace is from. It might be an Anna Luisa one. In fact, I think it is an Anna Luisa one. Um, thank you. And then earrings, recent, can't remember where from, possibly Primark. I'm afraid I didn't get any film footage of the evening, but we had a really lovely time, a delicious meal, and yeah, generally it was a nice end to the week. Um, I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Don't forget to go and check out Anna Louisa Jewellery if you are in the market for a new little something or you have any gifts to buy. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.